Hey there guys, Eugene here from Review Outdoor Gear. And a lot of you have asked about the sheath that we had that you've seen in some of my videos for the Benchmade Bushcrafter 162. When you guys asked, some of you, it still was not available and we weren't producing it for sale, but there have been so many requests that we've actually now decided to go ahead and start making these sheaths. The Benchmade Bushcrafter comes with a sheath. It's kind of a, a bad sheath. I mean, everybody who gets the knife complains about the sheath. I complain about the sheath. It was just a poorly made sheath for this excellent knife. Um, and you, if you want to see a review of this knife, there'll be a link if you click the letter I there in the upper right corner. You can see a video of me reviewing this knife and showing the sheath that comes with it. And you can check it out and see for yourself what you think about that. I kind of forgot to grab it here today, but it's, uh, I don't even know where it is. It's, it's just bad. Um, and so it's, it was in need of a, a sheath right away. And we made one back then and uh, it wasn't uh, kind of perfected at that time. And then a couple of you guys asked, and we have made now a couple options for sheaths, and they will be available on our website. So you can always go down in the description and check our website out for the various sheaths that we have available. Basically, there are two options and two different colors. So the two options are a sheath without a ferro rod sleeve and a sheath with a ferro rod sleeve. And they're gonna be you know, brown or black, and you can have any combination of those things. So the Bushcrafter just gets in there like that and sits really, really nice and tight in there. Each of these sheaths is made specifically for this knife. You can see the outline of the knife there. And it sort of clicks in at the end and, and it's not gonna fall out. So you can see that it's really, it's really in there. Um, and it has this really nice little lip so it's really easy to pull it out with that. So these sheaths are handmade all the way. Um, they're hand stitched with a saddle stitch. Um, they have a nice welt there between the two halves of the leather. Um, they are formed specifically to this knife. And you can see when we put the knife in there, it kind of locks in. Um, it's made out of a veg tan leather. It's gonna be stained with the black or the brown stain. And um, you know, you can see the shape here. The shape between the one with the ferro rod sleeve and the, with the one without is just slightly different. And that's to accommodate the ferro rod sleeve. So just keep that in mind. Um, by the way, if you want really good up close pictures, detailed, high detailed pictures, just go to the website and you can see pictures of both of these in, uh, in high detail. So outside of that, we've got the stamp there, of course. Um, you can see how it's formed specifically for this knife all the way throughout. On the back here, we have a belt loop. Um, and so that'll accommodate a belt of up to like two and a half inches in there. Um, it'll be pretty tight on your belt as well. And you have an option of getting a dangler, but that's a separate item. So when you just see them on the website, they're without the dangler. So we have this D-ring here also, and it is a one and a half inch D-ring here on the inside by the sheath. Um, and you know, you can attach a dangler to it or you can tie it down if you need to. Um, just kind of a standard thing. And it's welded together there in the middle. And it's a uh, nickel plated steel D-ring. So it's, it's really nice and solid. Yeah, so that is basically the sheath and how it looks. Now, the other thing about the ferro rod sleeve here, the ferro rod sleeve on this was designed specifically for this fire rod from uh, Exotac. And they make a really, really nice ferro rod, um, but it is expensive. And uh, it fits really, really nicely into this little loop here. It's gonna be really tight. And you really don't need to loop it around with a, you know, uh, a little bungee cord or people use a little, um, cord on there to hold it down it's there's no way that that's going to fall out you can see how tight it is um, with time as you use it it might get a little bit more loose and it might start to fall out so then yes you can tie down a little uh, loop and you can hold it in that way but then having that uh, exotac fire rod and we'll have a link in the description to this if you're interested on amazon um, from the manufacturer but you can see how that finishes off this kit here it looks really nice. And you can see pictures of that on the website as well. That ferro rod is exactly 5 16 inch thick. Um, and so this will accommodate any ferro rod that's 5 16 inch you know, wide, uh, di diameter wise. Um, and it is exactly two inches long here. So just make sure that if you are planning to use some kind of ferro rod with this, that it will be at uh, 5 16 or maybe a little bit smaller, but definitely not too much bigger uh, because it's gonna be hard to stretch that thick almost uh, eighth inch leather um, but you know just keep that in mind and 
the other thing as well is um, if you are interested in some kind of special or other ferro rod that you want us to design uh, a sleeve for on this knife, be sure to just contact us through email and we can set up a special deal for you. Um, also on the ferro rod sleeve version of the sheath, you can see that uh, what's really nice here is that this piece of leather that makes the ferro rod sleeve is actually part of the whole leather sheath and it's not a separate little piece sewn in. Um, it, it's a whole piece here and then it's sewn into the middle and so it just makes it look really, really nice and clean. Now the other thing as well I want to mention is that these uh, sheets are pretty tight with the knife and you can see when I'm putting it in there, you know, it's quite tight. And the reason for that is um, it's better to you know, have that start out tight and if you want it to be a little bit more loose, you can do that adjustment by uh, taking the knife and wrapping the handle here. This is what mostly holds the knife in the sheath. You can wrap it with a, you know, a little bit of a, for example, uh, like a Ziploc bag, you just cut it into a strand and wrap it around here and then put it in there with that in place and just leave it in there for you know an hour and it'll stretch the sheath out like that um, so that should work if you want it to be a little bit more loose and with time it'll, it's going to get a little bit more loose as time goes on the other thing i wanted to show you is just how this looks on your hip with a dangler so i have one here on my hip um, this is kind of a weird color but it is the same kind of sheath and you know the knife just goes in like that and you can see that that just sits just about like that. Um, now, if you do order a black sheath and you want, and you do order a dangler separately as well, and you want it to be black, just make sure to mention that or email us, and we'll try to make sure that the sheath and the dangler you order are the same color. Um, but usually our danglers come brown like this from our, on our website, and you can check those out in the description as well if you want this separately. So there's the setup. There's the way the sheath accepts the knife. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you have questions or any kind of suggestions or comments, please leave them down in the comments section. I'll try to get back to you about that. Be sure to check our website out and uh, we look forward to doing business with you guys and trying to uh, accommodate other needs that you guys may have. So thank you very much. I will see you guys in the next video. It's been Eugene from Review Outdoor Gear.